guys and welcome back to Steel Rhino. I'm Mike. This is the buggy um, that you saw on the first video. So what we're going to do today after that run, I realised that it's running way too rich. So I'm actually dropping the main jet fuel size down. Um, and then I'm taking a couple of links out of the chain and putting a half link on because the chain kept coming off. So it's a bit of a pain. But um, other than that, she's pretty good to go on the... Next episode, we'll be looking at getting a mini excavator in at the batch and making the rest of the track. And then we'll be setting up like a leaderboard for all of the buggies and stuff that I build and see what times they can set going around it. Um, so yeah, I'll just get into it and um, we'll go from there. So we're just gonna put a half link in here and take out uh, a couple of links just to tighten this up. So first we'll get on with taking this cover off and then I'll show you how we change it.
going to take this bowl off the bottom of here um, and then change the main fuel jet inside so I'll just run you through that quickly. So now we've got the chain all done, nice and tight. I'm going to check the spark plug, uh, see what the fuel to air light ratio is like, whether it's black, white or nice tan colour, just to see how much fuel we've got burning. Um, and then I might adjust the main fuel jet which is in here and I'll show you how to do that as well. So first you just pop this cover straight off which shows you the spark plug. And then you just crack the spark plug off and wind it up. So what you'll be able to see here is that really black so that means we're running too rich too much fuel so I'm actually going to clean this up a little bit so we'll just give that a little clean pop this back in and we're going to change the jet down fuel size so if it's running too lean uh, not enough fuel, it will be a white colour on the spark plug. If you've got it just about right, it should be a light tan colour on the white. And then if you run it too rich, it's black. Like I just showed you. I'll just get this in. I'll just pop this back on. So these are the main fuel jets, if you can see that thing. And so I've actually got three different sizes here, so we're just going to go, I've actually got a 0.9 in there at the moment, so I'm probably just going to go to a 0.85, just to see how we go. So to turn it up, make sure your fuel is in the off position. Take your little drain screw out. So that your bowl comes off. There should be a O ring on there as well, yep. Just take that down. Pull this O ring off, make sure we keep that. Just check inside your bowl just to make sure there's no sediment or anything in there that could block it up. And then just up inside here, in the flat and the screwdriver, is the main jet. So if you just give it, be gentle because it's brass. Give it a twist down. There it is. So. I have a micro drill bit set here which goes up in 0.5 increments so I'll just use this just to test which one I've got so we just reverse the procedure just be careful and don't over tighten it Make 
sure it's clean. sure that that iron is seated. Line the drain plug out the back. And turn it back up. And you just repeat this procedure until you've got the correct colour on your spark, spark plug. And you've got it running correct. Thanks for watching everyone and if you'd like to leave a like and a comment below like if you have anything that you think I could be doing better or more stuff that you'd want like for me to put in the videos please just put it down in the comments below because I need all the help I can get with video because this is the first time and I've not really got a clue how to shoot things or what kind of things that you guys like so just let me know and that's all see you next time